Tonight, the mother of Melanie Hain speaks only to News 8. Hain was the gun advocate shot to death by her estranged husband in October. We talked to Hain's mother about how the children are doing and about her daughter's legacy. News 8's Lebanon County reporter Barbara Barr has the story. Hanging in there and just day by day. These are difficult days for Jenny Stanley as she sits down for an interview at WGAL. Christmas is next week and her daughter is gone. I think of the wonderful Christmas times that we shared with the kids. Stanley's daughter, Melanie Hain, was shot and killed by her husband, Scott, in their Lebanon home in October. He then turned the gun on himself. Melanie's three children, ages 2, 6, and 10, were in the house. How are the children doing? They understand what happened. They understand um, that there was stress. They're kids, and so they're pretty resilient. Stanley didn't want the children photographed for this story. They're living with her at a friend's house in Lancaster County. She plans to file for custody of them. It's quite remarkable the way they're holding up and quite remarkable the way they've responded. And, um, and we just all love each other very much. Melanie Haynes' shooting death was shocking, coming after she had gained national attention as a gun rights advocate. In the fall of 2008, she wore a handgun openly to her daughter's soccer game. For those people out there who think Melanie was just a, an airhead or a goofball or whatever their impressions of her were, realize, ask yourself this, would you like to be judged by one act in your whole life? The Lebanon County Sheriff revoked her concealed weapons permit, but Hain went to court and won. What would you like people to know about your daughter. She was a wonderful young woman um, and she believed, when she believed in something, she put her heart and soul into it. And she believed in our constitutional rights. But after five years, the Haynes marriage was falling apart and Stanley thinks that led to the murder-suicide. Things weren't going very well and Melanie had decided to leave. Now she and the children face an uncertain future. And I just can't imagine living all the rest of our days without her. Barbara Barr, News 8. Now, Jenny Stanley would like to thank everyone who has helped her and the children. She's looking for help finding a new home. There has been a fund set up for the children at Belco Community Credit Union in Lancaster. If you'd like more information, we've set up a link at WGAL.com.